so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the l1 regularization just uh, remember the logistic regressions part where we have discussed about the l1 regularizations and see that l1 regular regularization creates the parsity of the weight vector in l in uh, logistic regressions just remember this lecture then uh, just if you forget it then please revisit there then you can simply find it and so l1 regularizer into it creates parsity in our weight vector that is w okay as compared to l2 regularizer okay we have already seen this this case we have already comment we had already discussed this but um, uh, there we have not proved it so uh, we see that l1 regularizer creates the more sparsity as compared to w we have used this comment but in this lecture we have proved it why our l1 regularizer creates the more sparsity than l2 regularizer okay so uh, i am just again i am just going to remember you that sparsity means what sparsity means more of w i is r0 so simply sparsity is mean more of w j s r0 this is the simple meaning of sparsity okay mm, let let our w we have our d dimensional features in our data sets we have d dimensional features so w will be like this w1 w2 w3 dot 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 up to wd and it belongs to three dimensional feature three dimensional rd now just compare side by side l1 regularizer and l2 regularizer then i think it will be clear all of you so first uh, in this side we are taking l2 regularizer and in this side we are taking l1 regularizer just divided these two portions So first uh, let this is our w let first let also so okay let's 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 see this okay this is our l2 regularizer this side we are taking l2 regularizer this side we are taking the l1 regularizer so first write down what we are used in l2 regularizer what is what is our optimal equations so in l2 regularizations we are using the minimum of our simple it is our logistic loss simple it is a loss functions we just recall this this is our loss functions plus here we are using our hyperparameter lambda Plus L2 regularizer, this one, and in this side, all the things are same, but here, simple here, we are using L1 regularizer or hyperparameter. Plus, in this side, we are taking the L1 regularizer. So, just in both sides, you have seen that loss functions are same and uh, lambda lambda is also a constant term lambda is simple also a constant term so easily we can easily omit these two terms we cannot disc we cannot taking these terms as our discussion just in both sides we are comparing w2 normalizer this term and these terms so now we see how this term behaves okay so this time this uh, terms means what these terms mean minimum of w again we have discussed that w is our a vector of d dimensional so simple instead of written w here i am we have written w1 w2 up to w d 
similarly here also instead of writing w wd okay here w2 square means what w2 square means w1 square w2 square wd square this this thing is actually means this okay simple i am using the component and just simple calculate it and here this thing means what here we are taking the absolute value of w1 w2 wd okay so to take all the d terms here we are simply taking single term for easy for easy of our calculations so for taking all the term here simple we are just taking the single term okay for simplicity for simplicity here we are using simple this term so if we taking the simple term then what will be our equations minimum of w1 of w1 square let let for l2 regularizer we call it l2 of w1 and it will be what minimum of w1 mod of w1 so let in this side it will be our l1 regularizer of w1 term so these are the scalar stuff but here it is the vector here l to w means vector but we are taking the single first component for easier for simplicity of our calculations so this is a scalar term okay simple don't be confused of this this is simple now this is a scalar term now let's just now let's see only the two things now draw now just draw this picture side by side what is it are all two and the simply here is our l1 just first draw this so here l2 w means w1 square so just draw this w1 square okay so here we have our w1 in this side we have our l2 of w1 okay that is in a way w1 square in this side what we have in sorry in this side we have a normalizer function this side this line and this line so this is our w1 and this is our l1 of w1 that is simply norm of absolute value of w so just you already see that this is an absolute draw of absolute functions so simply if you just uh, Think the minimum value of w1 will be in this case minimum value is here so in this case our this is one w1 star in this case also this is one or w1 star okay now in gradient descent what we are doing in gradient descent simply just uh, in getting so we have to derivative all the things first so just write down it Right. Uh, just write down here what is our l2 of w1 that is simple w1 square here w1 l1 of w1 is simple norm of w1 okay if we just derivative simple in gradient descent we are first have to to update our weight vector we you have using the derivative of this function okay so first derivative these functions extend this line
So first derivative this one. So what will be the derivative of W L2 with respect to W1? This thing is 2W1. And what will be scale of L1 with respect to W1 is what? So this is means actually if you just remember if you just see deeply W1 function means what? If you just taking the positive side it will increase linearly and if we taking the negative side it will decrease linearly. So in positive side W if if W1 greater than simply zero and uh, if w o if w1 is greater than 0 and it is minus w if our w1 less than 0 this is simply our definitions of l1 function that is absolute function now we are going to derivative this functions so what will be positive direction derivative will be what in positive directions derivative will be plus 1 if our w1 is greater than 0 and is minus 1 if our w1 is less than 0 okay this is the derivatives of this function now just see this geometrically just see this function geometric just redraw this okay so what will be the 2w1 2w1 functions will be like these functions okay. okay this is our w1 functions now something here we are using this function or this one So here our functions will be plus one in positive directions and minus one in negative direction. So we'll take plus one this direction. And also it takes minus one this direction. So it is here in this side it is plus one in this side it is minus one okay so this is the simple geometrical view of these two derivatives okay just if you see in uh, let suppose let in every iterations we have to update our weight vector so just remember the gradient descent in every iterations we are going to update our weight vector so let's take initially we our, our weight vector is w10 okay after iterations over one we get our uh, weight vector w11 dot, 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 dot. up to after iteration scale let we have k iterations our weight vector is wk okay let's in gradient descent actually we have to update in age iterations our weight vector so let's take this is our weight vector on age iteration now let's rewrite. Now let's first rewrite the uh, gradient descent equations. So suppose, suppose we are writing this after j iterations. So after j iterations, we are calculated j plus one weight vector is equals to what? W one j minus some step steps or learning rate r into del of l2 of w1 at which point at w1 j point and simply here everything is okay just we have using here another theory as yes. w1 j plus 1 is equals to what 
is equals to w1j minus our learning rate into here we are taking l1 regularization divided by w1 at u1j okay now just see this thing geometrically suppose let's take here we are taking only consider our wjs in positive direction suppose let's take here i am not considering here for some time let's take i am mean considering our w in negative just for simple city let's assume oh it's uh, considering a w positive so it is same calculations as positive and also negative so let's take let our wj is positive let w one j is positive so then what will happen let's see so this equation is now updated by but w1 j plus 1 is equals to w1 j minus r into 2 w1 j and here what here w1 j plus 1 is equals to w1j minus r into what here i am taking the positive w in this direction w here let's take our w in one is equal to. let's take so here our it will be one so let's take and just if you think our learning rate learning rate lecture in this series of lectures just to revisit the learning rate then you can see that when our iteration increases when our iterations increases then our learning rates decreases it is depend on this in iteration chapters we have seen that we have seen already this so suppose here in this case in j iterations our learning rate is very very let our learning rate is very very small so let our learning rate is very very small very very small our learning rate suppose let let or in this case uh, we have taken our learning rate is 0 0.01 okay suppose let let we have taken is a very small number and also if you see and let also let and and when just see this picture just see this picture first when w2 w1 gen means what 2w means the derivative of these functions and just see this when the, this function when this w closer and closer to our optimal w1 this w1 is closer and closer to our optimal w1 then its slopes decreases just is we discuss and see this case in previous lectures okay when our w1 tends closer and closer to w star, w star w star and so here w1 star it is its slopes decreases so in this case it's also a small value in this case it will also it will also be a small value it will also be a small value Okay, suppose let in this case also let our j after j iteration w1 j will be 0 0.05. Okay, suppose let so now we are coming to this. If you just consider these two terms only, if you just consider these two terms only, we are multiplying to some between two small number. So multiplying between two small number will be a very very small number. Two small number is also a very very small number. Okay. So if you just consider this thing, if you just consider this thing, so what will be after the value of multiplication value of W J dash one? So our W 
वन जे प्लस वन वैल्यू उल बी बट तो दिस उल बी डब्ल्यू वन जे दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव माइनस टू इंटू आर उल बी वॉट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव तो दिस इज मीन वॉट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव माइनस जस्ट इफ यू सिंपली you multiply these two things you will get this thing if you just multiply this thing then you will get 0.00 so what will be this value j plus 1 but this value will be what 0.049 okay and if you just see in this case in this case what will be the value Oh, just extend this first okay so in this case what will be our wj plus 1 value so in this case our w so w1j is what if we take the l1 regularizer 0 0.05 minus r is what here here we have not taking only only uh, here actually here derivative is only one because we are using our l1 regularizer so r is what r is simply 0 0.01 so what will be the value here so simple if you take this value will be 0 0.04 okay just compare the after z equal after z iterations so this value this value is smaller l1 regularizer value is smaller than l2 regularizer okay so just if you conclude this thing if you just compare these two things if you just compare these two values If you just compare these two values, so what will compare? So after j iteration, after j iterations, w one g plus one of L1 regularizer value will be smaller than of L2 regularizer value simple so if you just write this thing in mathematically when i our integers as iteration increases then the value of l1 regularizer less than this value of w1 of l1 regularizer is less than value of w1 of l2 regularizer as it iteration increases just we see this thing so just write this thing so our l2 regularizer does not change the value of w1 from one iteration to another iterations but l1 regulators continue continue to constantly reduce what's w1 so l2 regularizer just i am rewrite this thing just i am discussing this thing and generally i am rewrite this thing so l2 regularizer does not change does not change the value of
W one from one iteration to another iteration very quickly simply very quickly just just remake but but for l1 regularizer continue continues to constantly reduce because here because why it is constantly reduced because here our this term our the derivative term is constant it is not it is not dependent on w w w ones so it is a constant because of it is constant so it is reduces constantly so l1 regularizer continues continues to constantly reduce reduces w1 to hours our optimal w towards our optimal w that is here zero in this example that is zero okay. it does not it does not changes very quickly but here it is continuously const continue to continuously changes reduces so this is the main thing so this is the main be behind the main logic why the chances of L1 regularizer uh, compound the sparsity increase for L1 regularizer why the sparsity increases because of this because of the gradient addition because of our here derivative is constant but in L2 regularizer derivative is not constant so because is this reason here we are for sparsity purpose we are we are using the l1 regularity that implies that chances that implies that chances that w1 equals to 0 are equals to are more prone more prone at the end of simply k recursion okay i think uh, why l1 regularizer creates parsity of our features vector for our uh, for our w for our weight vectors so i think this idea is now clear so simple it is because of we are for updating our weight vector we are using gradient descent technique we are if you okay using the gradient descent technique and in gradient descent technique we are using the derivative of our um, of our functions loss functions simply of our functions optimization functions so in optimization functions we see that in l1 regularizer our derivative is constant but in l2 regularizer our derivative is not constant so it is depend on our weight vector so the our l1 regularizer reduces l1 regularizer our reduces weight vector so quickly okay reduces so quickly that l1 regularizer so for this only for this reason l1 regularizer creates more parsity than l2 regular this is one interpretation why a l1 regularizer creates more parsity and so there have also many many interpretations of why it is this is one of the inter one interpretations and also i'm just seeing this interpretation geometrically i think this idea is clear why l1 regularizer creates more parsity than l2 regularizer yeah? if you 
if you just uh, don't understand or if you have any doubt please i request you please pause this video and revisit this video again and again and then i think uh, i'm discussed sufficiently to understand okay if you so if you have any problem after this lectures i request you please comment below then i am again i also i am making a video about this matter.